Hi, I'm Boris Garby. I'm the gallerist at Mills Gallery, and I'm sitting here with the artist Christy Lee. She's going to have an exhibition here on Friday, October the 18th, from 6:30 to 9, mm -hmm. called Androgyny. Why androgyny? Well, let me first start by saying androgyny. The meaning of androgyny, actually, is uh, bringing male characteristics and female characteristics together in an ambiguous form. And I feel like now, at this time in um, our lives, where young people are bringing us more um, acceptance, inclusion, um, I felt like it was a perfect time for it. And you, I know a little bit about your personal story. Growing up, you experienced a lot of androgyny in your, in your life. In, in my way. home. In yeah, a way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I grew up very um, gender neutral. My parents um, didn't push. We, had, we were five children, four, five children, but my parents didn't push me in, or my brothers in different directions because it was easier to, for us to share clothing and to play together and we did sports together. Um, so it was, um, it was a comfortable place for them to keep us, yeah. So is this like a new direction that you're going? Well, it's a new direction where I'm bringing it out now. Um, I've mostly painted uh, women and figures in a more beautiful way. And now, not that this isn't beautiful, but I feel like this is um, uh, um, a new look. One of the things that I admire about the artists that have a long shelf life and that, that, that have a long reach is that they're constantly reinventing themselves. And one of the reasons you and I are such good, one of the reasons I admire you, because like other artists that admire, like Victor Bocas, for example, you keep reinventing yourself. And you've had varied careers. You you were a stylist with Paul mm -hmm. Mitchell. You yes. cut hair side by side with him in New York. Yes. You colored right. hair. Yeah. You created art. Yeah. Then you did painting, sculptures. But you keep evolving. Yeah. Why? Why do you think? I think it's important for artists to keep growing and to keep learning. And um, I I like to touch on new subjects and um, and learn. You know, like I I think back to. A Medigliani and a Picasso and a lot of these artists um, who have had long successful careers and I, um, I, I, I learn from what they've done I've take a little piece they're always they were always changing I feel like it's important for an artist to keep growing and keep changing and um, so that's why I'm constantly reinventing myself this is an interesting topic to me because yeah. only for our generation is this still somewhat a little taboo mm -hmm. but the young people they live their lives androgynously you know what is it that you want your visitors to this exhibition to take away from this well I, I want people to understand um, that it's important for inclusion I think that nowadays you know we're we're accepting a lot more than we did before. I think that the world is definitely changing. I think that you should be able to love who you want to love, dress the way you want to dress, and be the kind of person that um, makes you feel fulfilled. That is so great. I can't wait. This is going to be a wonderful exhibition. Friday, October 18th from 6.30 to 9, and you're going to be there answering questions? I'm going to be there, yes. I'm actually going to bring some other special pieces as well. All right. See you then, Friday, 18 at 6.30 p.m.